This is what researchers call the penthouse, a lab on the 15th floor at Dalhousie University, where they're studying the blood of long-term care residents. We receive four tubes per subject. We've been granted exclusive access for a short time only so that we can safely understand how they process the blood. We separate out the plasma or the liquid portion of the blood and then we isolate the immune cells. They're examining the way immune systems respond to COVID-19 over time. So that we could see how people recover from COVID and compare that with people who didn't have COVID. Dr. Lisa Barrett is leading the study and hopes to answer a critical question. Why some people get infection, why some people do not get infection, why some people who are 102 get the infection and don't even know they have it, while some people who are 65 may actually die. That's exactly what happened at Northwood, where there was a significant outbreak during the first wave. Alistair Hiltz is 56. I was really sick. I was on oxygen. On the same floor, 88-year-old Viola Power also tested positive. I never got had any symptoms. I never had, I never got sick. Just feel just like I do now. Barrett says her study could create a better quality of life for older people even beyond COVID-19. We don't really understand why a person's immune system gets more weakened as they get older. We assume that it's going to happen, but why? And does it have to happen? For her team, it's the opportunity of a lifetime. You start your career trajectory as a, a researcher and you never think you're ever going to be in the middle of a pandemic and be able to contribute. And the research here in the penthouse will take a year and a half, but it is expected to have a lasting impact. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.